just a very quick part two on the Hyper e-bike city that I received yesterday and I videoed the building of it just to make sure really that I had no issues with it full stop there actually aren't any except for one little thing that I want to note now and that is that this cabling here uh, is obviously done to tidy all the lines but what I've noticed is it's it's pulled I want to make sure I get the camera in in the right place here it's been pulled so much that the the, the cable covering as you can see has been pulled out of the housing so I was a little concerned but it works okay in fact it works fine so I'm actually going to put some insulating tape, which I have here, around it. But I want it on record so that obviously I can tell Walmart that it's arrived like that. I haven't been able to find anything else wrong with it. And the only thing I could say as somebody who has no e-bike experience and who normally rides a Norco Scrambler mountain bike. This thing is beyond all my expectations. I did a quick four or five miles last night and um, it didn't even affect the four red lights on my controller here. Uh, I dare say when I go out today, I will lose those more quickly because I haven't charged it again. I want to run it down a bit more before I give it its second charging. Um, I was perfectly happy using it in the medium setting, um, the cadence for my legs, uh, that kind of assistance is absolutely perfect. And you're just meandering down the road at, I don't know, I didn't bother s testing the speed, but, a nice comfortable speed probably around the 12 or 13 miles per hour and this thing just gets up and goes when you start pedaling it just it just takes off i'm not saying that you don't pedal because you do especially on hills i use it the same way i drop down the gears and keep pedaling but the absence of pain on my what are 70 year old knees almost um it's just it's just absolutely excellent um that's all i could say about it for 917 dollars delivered to me here um i've got absolutely no complaints would i like a three four five six thousand dollar e-bike with a thousand horsepower and a, a watts sorry a thousand watt motor yes of course i would but i'm not in a position to be able to just go out and buy things like that this is absolutely brilliant for somebody like me i've got uh, saddlebags ordered and they'll be on the back as soon as they arrive for me to pop down the shops and buy a couple of liters of milk and and uh, you know the kind of little everyday groceries that we all like a loaf of bread or something like that it's about a, a seven or eight mile round trip it's absolutely perfect for that um i get big food deliveries from costco from walmart from atlantic superstore when i need them and they bring them right to the door it costs a few dollars more but i i don't have a problem with that this only will get used on days like today it's uh, it's a a sunny bit cloudy day but we do get lots of these all the way from spring um to um when the first snow comes then it will just get parked for the winter and i will go upstairs to the gym i have in the building and ride the bike that's up there and use the treadmill so for somebody like me who's retired, um, 
if you're if you're married get yourself you and your wife one and get out there it's it's a fantastic way of traveling and doesn't cost you a light other than the the four hour charging time at home uh, which is probably i don't know a few pence you know a few cents it's it's um and i'm sorry i i i know i sound english i live in canada and i've lived in canada since 2005 just can't lose the Englishness. <laughs> okay, anyway, as I say, I highly recommend it. And this is just part two of my initial really long, and I apologize for that again, really long um, putting it together on and unboxing it video from yesterday. I hope this reaches some people and I hope you enjoy the content. Take care. Bye.